viewers in this video we will see the details about the full subtractor subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box in this we are going to see the full subtractor what is the truth table logical expression and implementation with the logic gates so the full subtractor is a combinational circuit that perform the subtraction between the two bits taking into account of borrow of the lower significant stage so this full subtractor will subtract the two bit two bit binary data in that we need to take an into account of borrow while subtracting the borrow is needed so borrow is also taken into account so based on that this circuit has three inputs two two binary input and third one is the borrow and two outputs the three inputs are a b and borrow in b in that denotes the minuend subtrahend and previous borrow respectively the two outputs are the d d means difference and the borrow out respect represent the difference and output borrow respectively right so full subtractor will perform the subtraction of two bit when taking into account of borrow in so that three inputs a b and borrow in then the, it has produced the two outputs difference and borrow out so practically the while subtracting we need three inputs because while subtracting two bits the borrow is when borrow is needed so practically we need the three inputs that is a b and borrow in only two input that is done by half subtractor that is not possible to implement practically right the practically we can implement the difference using only full subtractor having three inputs two inputs a b and one borrow in now we'll see the truth table of the full subtractor so this is the input a b and borrow in then two out two output difference and borrow out right so because of three input there are eight combinations are available first you will see this two inputs a b a b two inputs mean four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 for 0 0 the borrow may be 0 or 1 for 0 1 the borrow may be 0 or 1 similarly 1 0 the borrow may be 0 or 1 for 1 1 the borrow may be 0 or 1 so that we are 8 combinations are available right now we'll see this one by one so 0 0 0 all are 0 0 means it's very simple the difference is 0 the borrow is also 0 then 0 0 1 so 0 minus 0 is 0 but 0 minus 1 the second number first number is minimum second number is maximum now we need to see that how to do this right first 0 minus 0 is 0 only second 0 minus 1 we need to perform the subtraction 0 minus 1 so the first number is minimum second number is maximum we need to borrow the 1 from the previous digit so while borrowing this 0 become 1 0 right 1 0 is nothing but decimal equivalent of 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 right so the difference is 1 also borrow is also 1 right so the difference is 1 and borrow is also 1 right i will explain again 0 minus 1 first number is minimum second number is maximum so we need to borrow 1 from the previous digit while borrowing the 0 become 1 0 1 0 means decimal of 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so the answer difference is 1 and also we also borrowed from the previous stage so the borrow is also one right so it is one one similarly this also same case zero minus one zero minus one means difference is one borrow is also one then zero minus one here zero minus one is one means the difference is one and borrow also one again here we need to subtract one so i will subtracting this difference become zero borrow become one right zero minus one means difference is one borrow also one again we need to subtract one at that time the difference become zero this is very simple one minus zero zero means it is one only from one if we subtract zero we will get one only the borrow is zero similarly one minus zero is one only one minus one become zero zero right from if we subtract one from one the difference is also zero the borrow is also zero 
here also same thing 1 minus 1 means 0 the difference is 0 bar is also 0 right here 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 means 0 right again 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 means this case so the difference is 1 bar is 1 right so it is very clear so we have the one or two or three combinations are available all are 0 means 0 0 only this second number is maximum first number is minimum means difference is 1 bar also 1 first number is maximum second number minimum is the second number this first number is minimum and second number maximum again same thing 1 1 right here very simple 1 minus 1 means 0 right 0 minus 1 So, I will explain again all are 0 means 0 0 0 minus 1 means this is the case difference is 1 and bar also 1 here also same thing 0 minus 1 so the difference is 1 bar is 1 here also same thing 0 minus 1 but again one more 1 is there so the difference becomes 0 this 1 minus 0 means very simple from 1 minus 0 means again 1 only bar is 0 here 1 minus 0 again 1 is there so 1 minus 1 0 only here 1 minus 1 0 so that difference is 0 bar also 0 1 minus 1 0 but again 0 minus 1 this like this so the difference is 1 and bar is 1 right so we, we, we analyze the uh, truth table of the full subtractor we got the x we got the output of difference as well as bar so for this output we need to construct the boolean expression in order to implement the logic gate see this in the difference 1, 2, 3, 4 ones are available. In borrow out also 1, 2, 3, 4 outputs are available. Using the K map, we need to find the simplified expression for difference as well as the borrow. Right? Now, we will go to the K map. Simplification of this Boolean expression for difference as well as borrow. Right? So, in this K map, what are the inputs A, B and borrow in? Two inputs A, B and borrow in right a is available vertically a is one variable so two combinations 0 1 b b in two variables available so four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right so in the truth table there are four ones are available these four ones are marked other terms are marked as zero so there is no possibility of any grouping all ones are available individually right now we'll see the what is the expression for this four ones one by one first we will take this one what is available in the row zero what is available in the column zero one so zero zero one means a bar b bar b in right this is zero so that a bar next also zero a bar one means b in right a b b in is there zero zero one means a bar b bar b in the for the first row now we will see this so correspondingly we have zero here the column we have 1 0 so 0 1 0 0 means a bar 1 means b again 0 means b in bar right this is the second term i will go to the third term third term what is there here 1 is available here 0 0 available 1 0 0 1 means a 0 0 means b bar b in bar right then fourth term so here available 1 here also available 1 1 all are 1 1 1 so that a b b in right so all four terms are now we identified so this is the expression for difference we'll go for further simplification because here so many terms are available so many gates are needed we can go for further simplification before that we'll see the what is the expression for borrow out again same thing a b b in is available a having two options 0 1 b having four options 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right we already discussed there are four ones are available 1 1 1 1 other terms are 0 right so here what we are doing so these two ones are grouped together these two ones are grouped together and these two ones are grouped together there are three groupings are available first you will see this these two ones are grouped together so correspondingly we have to refer the first row second column and third column what is available here first row zero zero means a bar here zero one 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 means this zero and one is got cancelled only this one is available what is this one b in right so a bar b in now refer these two ones what is available here correspondingly a zero means a bar 
what is available in the third column and fourth column? 1, 1 and 1, 0. The second term, this is 1, this is 0. That got cancelled. Only this 1 is available. What is this 1? B. So, that B. A bar B. Right. Now, these ones are grouped together. This correspondingly, first row and second row we have to refer. First row, second row, 0, 1 is there. So, got cancelled. The column 3, correspondingly, column 3, 1, 1 is there. 1, 1 means B, B in. Right. So, three groups are there. All three groups are, we identify the expression. A bar B in plus A bar B plus B, B in. Now, we will go for the simplification. Simplification of this, the expression for difference. So, that we can minimize the logic gates. So, this borrow out is taken as it is. This is taken as it is. Only the difference we are going to simplify. So, the Boolean function for D, difference, can be further simplified as, okay. So, the what is D available? A bar B bar B in plus A bar B B in bar plus A B bar B in bar plus A B B in, right. In this four term, this we are going to take the B in as a common. It is available in first term and fourth term, B in available. Right. So, we B in is taken out from the first term and fourth term. What is available remaining? B in is taken outside. We have A bar B bar. The fourth term, what is available? A B. So, that B in of A bar B bar plus A B. Then B in bar is taken out from second and third term. In second and third term, B bar in is available. B in bar available. Right. So, taken outside. What is the remaining available? A bar B, A B bar. A bar B while taking B in bar outside, the term available is A bar B here, A B bar, right. What is A bar B bar plus A B is this nothing but exclusive NOR gate, A exclusive NOR of B, right. What is A bar B plus A B bar, it is nothing but exclusive R gate, A exclusive R of B, right. This is exclusive NOR gate, this is exclusive R gate. This exclusive NOR gate can be taken as exclusive OR gate by taking complement. By taking complement, we can convert the exclusive NOR gate into exclusive OR gate, right. So, that A XR of B with the complement. Now, see this expression, we will take this is A, this is B, this is A, this is B. So, what is available here? A B bar plus A bar B, right. See this, this is A, this is B bar, A bar, B. We will take this is the entire term is B, this entire term is A, right. So, A, B bar plus A bar B. Again, it is nothing but a exclusive R gate, right. So, so that we can write this. What we wrote here, A bar B plus A B bar is written as a exclusive R gate. The same thing is available here. So, this is taken as A, A, B in exclusive R of. What is B? B is nothing but A XR of B, right. So, A exclusive B, right. So, the D, D is nothing but exclusive R gate with three inputs, B in, A and B, right. So, by using the single, single XR gate, we can, uh, for, we can implement the expression for difference with the three inputs, B in, A and B, right. So, this expression is Comparing this, while comparing this is XR gate, this expression is written like this, right. Okay, now we got the expression for D, D equal to exclusive R of B in AB, right. So, the B out is already available, A bar B in plus A bar B plus B B in, right. So, now we got the expression for both difference as well as borrow. With this simplified Boolean function, the circuit for full order can be implemented, right. Now, we will see the implementation of the circuit with the logic gates, right. So, this here three inputs available A, B, B in, right. So, the difference is nothing but exclusive OR gate, exclusive OR gate with three inputs A, B, B in. So, that we got B in exclusive OR of A, exclusive OR of B, right. So, with single XOR gate, we got the output of the difference of a full subtractor, right. We will go to the borrow out. What is our expression for borrow out? A bar B in plus A bar B plus B B in bar, right. So, here we need one AND gate in order to multiply these two. 
here also we need one AND gate, here also we need one AND gate. All three thumbs are added together, for that we need one OR gate, right. So, first we will see this AND gate, what we need A bar B in, right. Here A is available, by connecting one NOT gate, it is converted into A bar, that is connected to first NOT gate as well as second NOT gate second AND gate. So, here also A bar is needed, right. So, A is taken out by connecting with one NOT gate, it become A bar that is connected to first NOT gate, first AND gate and second AND gate. Then here what we need is B in, B in. So, B in is connected, right. So, A bar B in is the output of this AND gate. Here what we need B is needed. So, the B is connected, so, connected to second AND gate as well as third AND gate. So, here we are, we got A bar B. Third one is what we need, B is connected, B in is also, B in also connected. So, B, B in. Now, these three inputs are given to the R gate. So, these three are added. So, it will give the bar out, right. So, with this logic gates, by using XR gate, we got the output of difference. By using these three AND gate and R gate, we got the expression for bar out, right. So, in this video, we discuss about how to implement the full subtractor using the logic gates, normal logic gates.